going on today we are are doing this little this little secret spot that i found out here at the property blaze the trail with the mulcher to get back here right behind the camera i'm going to put up a big box blind one of them you might have seen in the background on an eight foot uh, elevated platform up there and see over kind of the brush that we have and down into a big kind of marshy area where we um well not too far away from here got our, our skid steer stuck so i'm a little concerned today we've we've got again they say it's the heaviest or at least one of the heaviest tractors in his class i'm hoping that doesn't work against us today i i drove a tractor out here on a very small portion um, i was on my 2038r the other day I drove that out here and that did okay in a, in a couple areas, but I wasn't pushing the limits too much. So this is a heavier machine. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping we don't sink down. I want to get this brush hogged and try to get a, a fall plot in with some, um, some cereal rye, some rye grain in, in the ground here within a week or so. So if you want to see if we get ourselves buried or come out unscathed, stick around. be sponsored by Rimguard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it going to help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of Rimguard include being the heaviest all-natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not going to corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not going to freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimguardSolutions.com. folks so again this is a brand new property for me and honestly i i didn't lay eyes on this area until uh, just the other day for the very first time it's very secluded um kind of tucked there's a trail that runs alongside of it in the woods that we've we've been up and down a bunch but i thought this was all just kind of really marshy stuff but um kind of walked it again like how we did so uh, successfully with where we <laughs> sunk the skid steer uh, recently same kind of a, a, a thing here but kind of creeping and tiptoeing along tight to what I think is the high side along the woods first just to get my bearings and you'll see this is a very very rich soil very dark very um, nutrient heavy but that means it's holding a lot of moisture it's very kind of spongy and sloppy and and you can't see anything I mean the weeds are so tall four five six foot tall depending on where you're at and uh, you know I'm hesitant so I'm going very slow well 
I'm mainly hesitant for a sinkhole or, you know, and mowing a new area like this, especially when it's so thick, you have no idea what's in front of you. You don't know if it's, if it's a sinkhole, you know, if it completely drops off into a, um, a big wet hole or if there's hidden obstacles or just any other ruts. So, I mean, it, it pays to go slow and just be cautious until you get familiar with the land. Um, but you know, this is kind of evolving in my head as I'm out here mowing. I'm like, man, this is a, this is a beautiful area. I mean, these weeds and, and the, the flowers and the grasses and everything else are just gorgeous. But this is also a great little honey hole and I don't want to completely spoil it. And being such tall grass, you know, this is again, I'm coming from a perspective of putting a hunt blind up and, and hunting season and everything. You couldn't see any deer moving in here. So you have to cut some lanes in, some shooting lanes of some kind so they can pop out in some areas and you can see and have some, uh, some opportunities. And so, I think that's kind of where I, I wanted to end up going with this. You can always mow the whole thing next year if you want to and, and, and start all over and let it all grow up, but decided to just cut in some shooting lanes, keep that cover for the most part, um, keep the, the safety of it, the safety aspect, I guess, and kind of the isolation, uh, not change that up so much, but there are a lot of deer trails running through here too that I can see. So it's obviously being heavily used this area as well. So uh, for me, this is, this is an exciting spot. I can't wait to sit here later this year. So another application for the Summit Tractor, good look at it here using a four foot brush hog. This is some nasty thick stuff. There's a lot of material that's getting cut up and chopped. Um, Bogged it down a hair just a couple of times. That was it. Otherwise I handled it like a champ. Uh, this ground is super spongy. It's crazy. Uh, you can see some of the ruts too uh, that, we, that we dug in and that's, uh, well, you know, gonna happen with any tractor really, but that's just telling you how close to kind of the lowland area we are. There's a, there's a creek 15 feet behind us here uh, that kind of meanders through as well. And you know, that's, it was, it was an uncomfortable feeling uh, not knowing if I was gonna sink down and get stuck or not because this would be a hard area to access and get unstuck from. I wanted to touch on uh, the mower setup. You know, a video we did earlier this summer over on the other side of the property. You know, some folks mentioned, I, I think having the front of the mower higher uh, than the back of the mower. and and it worked well for them on, on their application, I guess. But if you look at the manual on, on the Dirt Dog mower, and, and I think probably on most mowers, because it's similar to a belly mower setup, you want the front typically to be a little bit lower than the rear, uh, with the rear a little bit higher. And so that's how we have this set up. You can get a lot of adjustment with uh, your three-point hitch, with your rear gauge wheel, all that kind of thing too, and set it up how you want. But just do what works for you. I mean, for us, these are, these are good results. This is good brush hogging results right here. I don't think we could have picked a time of year to have more material to cut, um, but it, put, it should get us uh, through the rest of the year, just kind of this mid-September cut right here. There should be very little growth that comes up. I am gonna, well, I'm not gonna till this up, but I am gonna heavily broadcast rye grain through these lanes just to get some, you know, some short stuff coming up, maybe get it to three, four inches. Cereal rye grows basically anywhere. It's really cheap. You can throw it on heavy. I mean, you'll see it growing in the back. If you have a clump of it in the back corner of your uh, your, your pickup truck bed, it'll start growing there. I mean, this stuff grows everywhere. So uh, it's a good, a good crop to plant, I guess, for the deer. When everything else is starting to die out, that stuff will still survive uh, for well into hunting season. So it may end up moving the blind location a little bit. Again, we're gonna put it in a pocket just in the woods that I kind of cleared out. Uh, we did clear one more spot, kind of tucked in a corner a little bit further outside of the woods, but you know, entry uh, and, and, and egress, I guess, in and out of the blind without being detected is important. And so I want it to be kind of tucked over into a corner. This is gonna be a rifle hunting blind. This is not for, for bow hunting. So trying to, to keep that in mind with my setup as well, as far as uh, predominant wind location, that kind of thing too. But somewhere right behind the camera there in general is where we're gonna set up this hunting blind. Anyway, folks, just a beautiful, I guess very late summer day, it's almost fall, but uh, great day to be in the tractor, beautiful setting, just gorgeous scenery. I'm enjoying myself, hope you guys like the video. And now of course, if you are in the market for a tractor attachment, we'd love to help you out. We sell and ship all over the country, stuff for your front end loader, for your three point hitch, go to goodworkstractors.com. And if you did enjoy today's video, we'd love to have you tag along completely free, just hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.